Hello and welcome to another video. Today we have 4 insane topics which you won't wanna miss. We have timestamps in the description in case you only want the topic you clicked on for, let's start with a Roblox player hacking you. Well kinda, you will see what I'm talking about. So people go to their creation tab, and there's games which they didn't create. So there's a bunch of people that bypass the Roblox username moderation and they make games as a joke, like on the tweet the person who made the first is Roblox Eats Donkey, if you get what I mean, and another is by YT Poke Gaming. Every once in a while the chat filter breaks, but they know they bypass the system. That word gets bypassed a lot but their account will probably be banned in around a couple weeks or maybe a month. But some people abuse this by using it to their advantage by recommending people super inappropriate games that children will not want to play. Sometimes they even have inappropriate thumbnails which is just crazy it didn't get removed. I hope a kid doesn't get them otherwise oh god they won't be able to unsee. Next is Roblox scamming you? So you might be wondering how is Roblox scamming you? Well there's a huge glitch going around where it would say an item is free, but when they buy it it's actually for Robux so they spend Robux without knowing. Let's use this hat as an example. It says it's free right? But when you buy the hat, you actually spend Robux and it actually cost 1000 Robux. It's not even just for free items, there's some that say it's cheaper than it actually is. Here's some glasses. It says it's 100 Robux, but then it says they don't have enough Robux and they need more. And it's actually 25,000 Robux. Which is not accurate at all. It's only happening for limiteds right now. And it's not just like 20 or 50 Robux being lost. This is thousands of Robux being lost because of this glitch. So be careful when looking at prices for limiteds. So next is Roblox literally deleting their own group. So if you weren't aware many groups are being deleted by Roblox right now. So yesterday or 2 days ago or 3 I don't keep up with dates. Roblox content deleted the stars program. So if you don't know what the stars program is it's like a group where YouTubers can have star codes which people use and when they buy Robux using the code, the money goes to them. And Roblox literally content deleted it. Like the name was content deleted the messages were content deleted. So many people were worried that the stars program will be ending, but after this tweet people realized it's not just the stars program group being deleted. It's many many groups being content deleted. It's just so weird and rare to see Roblox moderate their own group. So another person called Totoy Gaming on Twitter said it seems to be a bug or false delete, and their group was apparently giving out personal information in their description. So let's go to our last story which is Driving Empire being sued. If you don't know what Driving Empire is, basically a card game like its name suggests. But Driving Empire has something different compared to other car games and its models are based off real car brands. Sometimes they use a logo, sometimes they even use the whole car itself. And for a long time they've been getting so many lawsuits. And basically copyright takedown requests by companies. And a tweet saying they've got another takedown request for using property of the following. Bentley, BMW, General Motors, Hyundai, Lucid, Rolls Royce, Stellantis, and Toyota. So that's 11 brands in the last month who have issued requests. I'm not sure if this is October or November because it's only been a week of November so far. I'm not an expert at cars but I recognize a lot of these brands like BMW, Hyundai and Toyota. There's two sides for people right now. Some think it's deserved that the companies want to take them down, which is fair enough it is their assets and Driving Empire is making money of their assets. And another side think it's dumb that the companies want to take it down because it's ruining the fun for other players. But this is a really big issue because Driving Empire is a huge game with almost a billion visits and over 10,000 active players on a school day. Sometimes people spend real money to get the cars in the game. And a lot of refunds will have to be issued because so many cars get taken down. I won't be surprised if more lawsuits get issued by different car companies if they don't just remove the real brands. Anyways if you enjoyed make sure to drop a big like on the video and I'll see you next time. Now shut up, and get out.